Hey everyone, it's Blake. Welcome in to episode number 28 of our TCW Save and TW 2020. This is our Where Angels Fear to Tread preview uh, for the next upcoming pay-per-view. Uh, that will be uh, our next episode here on Save. And of course, uh, that means only one more to go before we get to Total Mayhem. But we are on to Where Angels Fear to Tread. And let's look at the card and just do kind of a quick run through because <laughs> did a recap episode a couple episodes ago. So you guys kind of know where things stand, but we will quickly run through the card here for this pay-per-view. We'll get to the main event in a second. T-Bone will be in action, as we said. Uh, our guy T-Bone uh, is going to have a showcase match here, uh, and he's going to take on Seth Whitehead. So one-on-one -on -one match there. Seth Whitehead, one of our promising young developmental talents. So T-Bone getting a Clash of Champions-esque match uh, here at the pay-per-view, uh, I know it's going to feel like a step down for T-Bone based on the way we positioned him uh, leading into the show over the past several months. But you will see that uh, there's more to come for our friend T-Bone. And uh, this is just simply a showcase match to get us to the next point uh, in his story here in TCW. But also in action, as we said, it's going to be Ed Stone. Uh, those two teamed up on our most ad or recent edition of Total Wrestling. Uh, Ed Stone going to go one-on-one. -on -one with Roderick Remus, this is actually a rematch from a match we had back in, I think it was early February. Um, you guys know I don't do rematches often, but this is one that's, you know, back then, and we'll kind of push kind of what the story is going to be with this one. But they had a pretty good match uh, back in February, so we'll see if they can keep that going. And, again, Ed Stone's thing lately has been kind of going on the comments of what Greg Gage said about how Gage was the only really true Second generation, you know, him and Jay Cord were the only true second generation stars out there. And um, so Ed Stone kind of took issue with that. It's kind of pointing out how everyone thinks he's the one that can't get the job done to be a champion, all that stuff. So uh, we'll see if Ed Stone can keep some things going here against Roderick Remus. All right, those two are kind of the, the showcase matches, as well as uh, we will have this one on the card as well. Ernest Youngman and Troy Tornado are going to team up to take on Human Arsenal, John Anderson, and uh, Dean Daniels. So um, that's going to be kind of a you know an interesting tag team match there, given the story we've been pushing with Youngman and Tornado. So uh, those three matches are more of your, hey, <laughs> these are just matches that you'll have to fill out the card. Uh, and maybe, well, I can guarantee you, a couple of them are going to have some pretty key storyline developments uh, in them. But again, these were not really the ones that we focused on leading into this pay-per-view. All right, now we get to the ones that did have uh, a bit of, you know, kind of a setup here. Joshua Taylor and Daryl Devine. So we know that Taylor uh, is someone that is already one half of the international championship match. We're bringing that title back at Total Mayhem. And so we know that he is officially in there. But Daryl Devine uh, is someone who's trying to maybe prove that he belongs in that match. So he's hoping to potentially get the rematch against Joshua Taylor for the inter international title at Total Mayhem. We've seen Daryl Devine. In interesting spots here recently, almost beat Wolf Hawkins. Um, you know, he's had some almost wins, and that's what this has really been about for Daryl Devine is kind of proving himself as the ultimate underdog. Uh, we had him do the promo on Total Wrestling and all that to really build that up. So can Daryl Devine be the one that stops the streak here for Joshua Taylor? Has not lost since we started our save. Um, and if he does beat him, what does that mean for the international championship match at Total Mayhem? We will find out. So uh, we'll see. A lot at stake here, maybe more so than it seems. Uh, in this particular match. All right, tag team action. Uh, it will be Mighty Meaty. Mo and Tana are going to defend the tag team titles against the Peak Brothers, Eddie and Doug. And this has all been built up, you know, based on the fact that these two have been feuding. Uh, Mighty Meaty and the Center Society, led by Eddie Peak, have been feuding since we started our save, and that is continuing here as we go into month four. Uh, but this time around, it's not Mighty Meaty continuing, uh, you know, their, their showdown with the behemoths, Killer Shark and Titan, it's now on to the Peak Brothers, who Eddie brought in his brother Doug recently uh, into the group and is saying that, you know, not not really calling out Killer Shark and Titan, but saying he's going to have to lead by example uh, for the Center Society. And so Eddie Shark getting into the ring one-on-one, -on -one, or excuse me, he went one-on-one -on -one with Tana, we know, uh, recently as well. But now he's brought in his brother to try to maybe rekindle some of that magic tag team-wise to finally take the championships off of. Uh, Mo and Tana. So we'll see if that happens here uh, in this one. So a lot of intrigue with this potential tag team match and just the ongoing feud between Mo and Tana and the Center Society. All right, on to this next one. We'll go to this tag team match here. Uh, Benny and the Fox. Benny Benson, Flying Jimmy Fox, 
going to take on Freddie Huggins and Matt Hawking. So this was built off of the fact that uh, Freddie was was pissed that Benson and Fox were still in the ring. When he went to try to read his letter, as we know, this uh, infamous letter about how Freddie deserved another shot at the TCW World Heavyweight Championship after losing the match to Aaron Andrews at Battleground. Uh, and when he went to read the letter, you know, they were kind of trying to get Benson and Fox out of the ring. They wouldn't get out of the ring because Fox had just, you know, submitted uh, to Wolf Hawkins. And so that led to Benson kind of just pushing, you know, Huggins and Hawking, clearing house, and then H- Benson winds up ripping up the letter, which sent Freddie uh, into a frenzy. So, yeah, we, we know that was just, um, you know, something that, that kind of led to this match. And so Freddie trying to get his revenge for his um, his beautiful letter being ripped up by the one and only Benny Benson. So tag team action here. Two good two good tag teams, again, based on what we've kind of how we've used them to this point in our save. Uh, and we will see how this one unfolds between Benny Benson and Fine Jimmy Fox and Freddie Huggins and Matt Hawking. All right. So these next matches are kind of our, I would say, featured attractions here on the show. Uh, and we'll start with Eddie Chandler against One Man Army. Uh, this has been built up, as we know, really just um, on the fact that the syndicate is trying to just destroy One Man Army, but they cannot do it uh, as he just keeps coming back again and again and again. We know kind of built off the the story with him and Doc Hammond uh, beating each other. They were the only ones that fought each other in the war to settle the score, Cage Wars match back in February. That led to the one-on-one match at Battleground where, you know, they just kept going at each other, going at each other. And finally, Doc Hammond telling One Man Army, you know, not to do this, to stay down. He wouldn't do it. Hammond delivers kind of the final blow there to win that match. But then, since then, we've seen Wolf kind of turn up the aggression on Army to try to get rid of him for good, Um, whether it is attacks from the elite Wolf himself, you know, kind of delivering a a tough blow. And then all of that kind of with the backdrop of Doc Hammond sort of watching this and, you know, at times maybe looking a little uneasy here. So what's going to happen as Eddie Chandler and One Man Army go one-on-one here uh, and Wolf Hawkins has laid down the gauntlet? You know, Eddie Chandler is going to try to finish the job, but he wants Doc Hammond to finish the job here on One Man Army. Will that happen? We will find out at where angels fear to tread. So a a lot potentially at stake here in this match. And speaking of Wolf Hawkins, yes, Wolf in action here against the returning Chris Flynn, who was kicked out of the syndicate after the war to settle the score. Uh, Wolf said that, you know, hey, they could not lose that match. They would have to get the job done by any means necessary. It was Chris Flynn being the one that essentially took the fall there. And so Wolf viewed him as the weak link. They kick him out. uh, And so Flynn, gone for a couple months, makes his return, goes after Wolf. The story (laughs) sells itself, right? Like this is all about vengeance for Chris Flynn. And Wolf has said that, uh, you know, Flynn should not forget who's the one that brought him here in the first place. And he's going to be the one that takes him out of here. So Wolf is going to try to eliminate Chris Flynn here uh, in a grudge match. So Yes, this is uh, an interesting one, just based on the fact that that Chris Flynn uh, is trying to get his revenge on Wolf Hawkins. So then it is our main events. Aaron Andrews, our TCW World Heavyweight Champion, going to take on our TCW Television Champion, Greg Gage, in a one-on-one match. No titles on the line here. This is all about Greg Gage trying to prove himself. And he said that, um, that, you know, it doesn't even matter about the championships here. He's going to prove that he has what it takes, you know, to to beat Aaron Andrews, and he's going to do it for his friend Jay Cord. And the whole setup was that Gage was not going to challenge for the world title because he was not going to do it out of respect for Jay Cord, who we know all about the destiny for Jay Cord um, and fulfilling his destiny of being the TCW world champion. So Gage was not going to challenge based off of that. Uh, we've seen the interactions with these two. Um, Gage kind of getting, getting his hands on the TCW world heavyweight title at one point. And just kind of giving it a little bit of a stare before throwing it back to Aaron Andrews. Um, so a lot of little interesting teases along the way here to lead to this main event. And as we know, Jay Cord and Sammy Bach are not going to be in action. They are instead going to officially sign the contract for their Total Mayhem match. Uh, that will be one of our, our main events, as we know, for, for that big pay-per-view. And so Aaron Andrews, Greg Gage, one-on-one. Um, Andrews has said, hey, he has a standard. And even if his title's not on line, he's the world champion. He knows what's expected from him. And he knows that everyone's coming after him, uh, and he's going to prove there's a reason why, um, you know, he's the ace. He's the man 
that is holding that title right now. And so a big match here. I'm very curious to see how this one unfolds from a rating standpoint to really good workers uh, in the ring here. And so that is going to be our main event for Where Angels Fear to Tread. So there you go. Some of the stuff that we're going to have on the card. There is one other addition I'm considering. Um, we will see if that actually uh, is it added. I think it will be, but uh, I won't put it on here just yet until I, I officially decide whether I'm going to put it on the, on the show. So there you go. That's the card for Where Angels Fear to Tread. And uh, again, I appreciate you guys watching as always. Uh, and be sure to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And uh, again, I have another save that we're going to be getting into here soon. And uh, it's one that I think you guys are really going to enjoy, especially if you were one of the originals here on the channel uh, before we started doing the Seaverse stuff. Um, I think it's going to kind of be in your wheelhouse here uh, based on one of the, the, the other series we're going to be getting into here soon enough. Uh, so, yes, I appreciate you guys, as always, for the great feedback. And on the next episode of our TCW Save, it will be Where Angels Fear to Tread. <laughs>